the red and the gray, and then of course there's a blue, and no surprises that I will be spending some time talking about the new Baleno with the blue car. Baleno, it revives that nameplate that used to exist in the Indian market a few years ago. A car that uh, many people would like to believe Maruti was unsuccessful with, but remember it was a car that was also perceived as premium and uh, also something that customers accepted at the time. So to me, it's probably a good strategy to continue with a global nameplate and bring back Baleno as a name to India. So that controversy rests as far as I'm concerned. Now, this is a sub four meter car, but take a look at it. It looks nice and ample. It's big looking. And I think that's going to be its key USP when a customer in India looks at it because they're going to say, hey, that looks spacious, that looks roomy. And you know what? It is. It's a pretty spacious and roomy cabin. You can take a look at it. I mean, just get in there and uh, the leg room is, I think, going to be the perhaps uh, the big takeaway. Not great on headroom, but also not a problem area. Three people in that back seat should be all right, maybe just a touch tight. It takes on the i20, it takes on the Honda Jazz, and which is why uh, you do have an automatic version coming as well at start. There will be the CVT, and uh, the engines, of course, will be shared with the Swift, unlike the booster jet option that you get here in Europe. The boot is pretty ample in size terms, and uh, I think people will not have a problem with the 355 liters on offer there. It is pretty stylish at the rear, especially the uh, tail lamp treatment, I think, is what sets it apart. Otherwise, the car tends to look a little bit uh, subtle. It's not a very stylish car. It's not a very snazzy design, one like the i20, which almost sort of screams at you. This one is a little more uh, underplayed and understated. But I, like I said, the big focus, as far as this car is concerned, will probably be uh, the fact that it's a Maruti, which means it's going to be good value, we hope. It's priced well. And um, the fact that it'll also bring in Apple CarPlay. It'll be the first car to have Apple CarPlay in India. So uh, for those of you with Apple products, rejoice, because you'll have a Maruti that can hook up to your phone or your device. Now, in the front is where you see uh, what's now being called a sort of a new look for Suzuki. Um, you have seen a bit of this coming in with the Sierra's and, of course, the S-Cross. Uh, in my opinion, the Grand Vitara kind of a stretch grill might have made it look a little wider, but you do have a familiarity that comes through, and the Suzuki logo is finished off in almost this sort of glass-encased uh, 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 sort, of, sort of finish, and I think that's pretty premium and different looking. You got the LED strip as well to add to that premiumness and a lot of chrome in the design of the headlamp. Now, premium is good because uh, it's not just the fact that this is a premium hatchback, but it will be sold only in the Nexa dealerships. So, kind of has to hold on to that premium tag as well. You've got to react to this car. It is definitely the most important product at the Frankfurt Motor Show when it comes to all of us in India.